welcome to the market review where we bring you key developments in the financial and capital market as relates to the economy. Today we'll be looking at a very interesting topic, leveraging private capital to support Nigeria's digital economy growth. With me to have this interesting conversation is Yolan Tabo. She's the Investor Relations Principal for Convergence Partners. It's nice to have you on the show today. Good morning and thank you for having me. Thank you very much. Before we begin our conversation, let's take a look at some of the key developments that occurred in the capital market from the previous week. From the Nigeria Exchange Group, its quarterly report for second quarter 2021 showed that New Gold emerged as one of the most active exchange traded funds, with its value rising by 99.58% to 4.41 billion naira, taking the lead in both value and volume traded in the ETF space, as it traded 524.241 units valued at 4.41 billion naira. Also last week, the Security and Exchange Commission proposed amendments to Part E of the rules on securities exchanges in the country. And the FMDQ, Africa's first vertically integrated financial market infrastructure, held its ninth annual general meeting. At the end of the meeting, the management said despite a challenging 2020 shaped by the COVID-19 pandemic, was able to achieve restructuring as a group and also three of its subsidiaries in the capital market were registered by the Securities and Exchange Commission. We'll take a break and when we return, we'll continue this interesting conversation. The ProShare mobile app, your non-stop access to financial and economic information. With the ProShare app, you can customize your preferred news and videos. You can also get access to latest financial and economic news. Watch videos related to business, economy, financial markets and lots more. The ProShare app gives you in-depth market stats from the NSC, FMDQ and NASD. That's not all. You also get real-time alerts. The ProShare mobile app. Information at your pace and in your space. Welcome back. If you're joining us, it's the market review, and today we're looking at leveraging private capital to support Nigeria's digital economy. Our guest is Yolan Tabo. She is the Investor Relations Principal for Convergence Partners. Yolan, in the age of global liquidity race, how critical is private capital to supporting economic growth and development for frontier economies like Nigeria? It is very critical. I mean, if we, for example, take the tech sector that we as convergence partners are investors in, the World Bank estimates that $100 billion of capital is required to bring Sub-Saharan Africa to acceptable levels of digital access by 2030. 75% of that it estimates we will not be able to be made by governments, but rather requires private capital investments. So stretch government finances present an opportunity for investors such as convergence partners to plug what is a significant gap. To tie that back to economic growth and development in Nigeria, it is worth noting that digital infrastructure is a critical enabling mechanism for fostering economic growth and alleviating poverty. It enables access to basic services, transforms industries, and supports entrepreneurial growth. In fact, according to the ICU, a 10% increase in broadband penetration on, in Africa would yield a 2% a 2.5% increase in GDP. And um, the stats in Nigeria are no different. So currently the telecommunication sector contributes around 10.6% to GDP. And this is largely driven by private capital from mobile network operators. And this is just an example in a single sector. If we extrapolated this analysis into various other sectors, will be able to paint a similar picture of the importance of private capital. It's also important to note that fixed investments such as infrastructure needs investors with a long-term horizon and the risk appetite 
And typically that's where private equity capital and private infrastructure capital specifically are particularly needed. Nigeria has been described as a strategic economy in Africa that is attracting investment in technology. How has this reinforced the position of Convergence Partners and its Digital Infrastructure Fund? So our Digital Infrastructure Fund is a pan-African fund. And by strategy, we're therefore intent to have a, ge a geographically diverse fund. Nigeria is a critical economy for us as it is a home for a lot of tech talent with an ever growing tech ecosystem. Within our regional focus, we expect it to play an outsized role as it has in our previous funds. It's demographics, the macroeconomic indicators and being a hub in West Africa region adds to its attractiveness, as well as a dynamic and entrepreneurial technology environment, which is a sweet spot for us. So strategic investments in building out the required digital infrastructure will provide the bedrock to position Nigeria to take advantage of the fourth industrial wave that will in turn drive the future economic growth in the country. And this is the opportunity that our digital infrastructure fund is focused on realizing. We also have a track record of um, successful investments in Nigeria through our various funds under management. And specific examples include the likes of um, RAG Center, Channel Vaz, Inc. Digital Nigeria, which coincidentally just won um, Merging Smart Solutions and Ebla Company of the Year and Enterprise Broadband Service Provider of the Year at the recent Beacon ICT Awards. Nigeria is actually also where our, our first non-South African office is. So we, as, as conversion partners, we are very excited at the opportunity in Nigeria. Nigeria needs significant investments in critical digital technology infrastructure like broadband and fiber. At the moment, the federal government has a broadband plan, and it will be interesting to know if you find it very attractive for your investment prospect. Yeah, we've definitely seen it. And in fact, the laudable objectives of the national broadband plan to connect Nigeria to high-speed broadband is a useful framework against which our own impact investing philosophy is and focuses on open access digital infrastructure. It creates um, a supportive broadband rollout, which will assist our digital infrastructure fund in accelerating its investments through harmonization of rights of way and resultant deployment of um, digital infrastructure. And it's also, this broadband plan is also critical because it enables um, a, a predictable and stable policy and regulatory framework can enable private investment. It's also important to note that for this vision as set out in the plan to um, see fruition, we need to have a dedicated disciplined enforcement of the information, um, sorry, of the implementation of the plan. Global analysts believe that technology, especially fintech, provides immense opportunities for scaling growth and economic activities in Africa. Nigeria is the largest market and would like to know from you, what are additional areas you're exploring for investment in the country? So uh, the Convergence Partners Digital Infrastructure Fund is a continuation of our previous fund, which focused on um, enabling communications infrastructure. So this fund is a continuation of that. We will continue to invest in the critical digital platforms that sit on top of this infrastructure and FinTech is part of that. And within FinTech, our focus is on businesses that are helping digital transformation and financial services company that are delivering financial inclusions for Nigerians. In addition to this, we will also be looking at the interesting opportunities around next generation networks such as 5G, we're looking at cloud, 
into Internet of Things, um, artificial intelligence, data centers, and towers. Recently, stakeholders called for capital mobilization in Nigeria, but this must be done through structured private markets. From your perspective, can effective private market enable Nigeria to tap into the $4.35 trillion private equity funds at the global level? So, I mean, as, as I mentioned earlier, Nigeria has um, great features in the economy in terms of demographics. However, in order to attract this private um, equity capital, you need a predictable enabling environment. And the more latent the Nigeria opportunity is, the more private capital will come. And as you've mentioned, there is a glut of capital that is looking for a home and an attractive market opportunity. So stable and predictable regulatory environments are key enablers to attracting and retaining access to global private equity funds. It is encouraging, though, to see that there have been some key legal and regulatory changes which have been passed, including regulations from the Central Bank of Nigeria that enhance the ease of doing business and provide more options for foreign private investments in Nigeria. Uh, as you know, a complicated or unfavorable regulatory environment can be deterrent for fund managers looking to invest. Looking at developments in the economy and financial market, what is the outlook for private equity investments in Nigeria? Well, I, I absolutely agree with that. Um, the outlook for private equity is um, promising. In fact, if you look at recent um, African private equity studies that have been done by the Africa Venture Capital Association, Nigeria is top three out of the most attractive um, countries rated by investors for private equity in Africa in the next three years. And it is top two as rated by private equity fund managers. So it's um, definitely looking promising. And, and private equity investments are expected to increase on the back of um, the expected recovery from the adverse economic impacts of COVID. And sectors such as the tech sector, especially FinTech, healthcare, they poised for increased investments driven by the accelerated demand that the pandemic brought on, on which is likely to continue past, post the pandemic. And as convergence partners, we see sizable opportunities in the digital infrastructure space, building on the foundation that's been laid and addressing the infrastructure gap, which is needed to fuel Nigeria's participation in the fourth industrial revolution. Of course, investor exuberance is affected by the stability of the regulatory environment, as we've said before. And here, especially the challenge that weighs heavily is on foreign exchange risk, which can easily erode um, investment returns. However, if it is effectively managed, we believe that private equity investments in the country will yield true potential. And as we wrap up, Yoland, what is that interesting thing about Nigeria in terms of culture, environment, or attributes, things that gives you a very positive perception, a kind of good investor sentiment? So we're very excited about the tech talent um, and the tech um, ecosystem. If you look at how our the likes of the Andelas and other similar companies. You look at how Jumo and how well Jumo has done in Nigeria. Uh, the, the space is very interesting. And there have been some very interesting stories that um, we are watching with great interest. And even in fact, within our own portfolio, if you look at a company like Rag Center and what it has done in the, in the data center space within Nigeria, it shows that there is, um, there is a lot that is happening and still a lot more still to be done. Nice to hear from you how you've described Nigeria, particularly an evolving tech ecosystem, something you find very interesting to leverage on. And that's a good positive story that we have. And that, of course, is one level that we can improve upon to continue to become the attractive hub for investments globally. Thank you very much for this interesting conversation we've had. Yolan Tabo, 
She's Investor Relations Principal for Convergence Partners and our guest today on the Market Review Show. Thank you very much. Yes. And that'll be all for this edition of the program. You can get more insights on developments in the global and regional and Nigerian private equity space. All you need to do is to log on to the website, www.proexchange.com. When you get to the website, scroll, and then to the right hand of the bar, click on private equity. When you get to private equity, you get all the stories and latest developments in that space of the market and how uh, deals are going on and who is attracting and who is raising new funds to drive innovation. It's a very interesting segment of our website and it gives you all the information you need. Also, if you have questions or comments or suggestions based on our conversation today, please send them to otobasi.abasekumaproachengi.com. We'd like to hear from you and we'll respond appropriately. Also, follow us on our social media platforms displaying on the screen. It's been nice having you being part of this conversation, but don't forget this period, you need to stay safe. Till we come your way again, thank you for watching and have a nice day.